Hey guys, it's Jonathan here at the 2021 Chicago Auto Show talking everything Ram. And behind me is the one, the big one, the one everybody knows. This is the 2021 Ram T-Rex, TRX. Let's check it out. Now they don't have one on the floor here, but if they did, be, there'd be mobs all over this vehicle because this is the one everybody wants to see. This is the one everybody wants to drive. So we can see right inside of it. Now these are selling incredibly well. In fact, because of the you know shortages with production and chip shortages and things like that, these are actually still so you could buy. If you had bought one, you should be able to resell it for more than what you actually buy for. That the demand is so high for this vehicle. So. We're gonna sort of walk around it, give you guys an idea of the scale and how high it is. Now it is up on the platform, so you're not gonna be able to get an exact scale of how high it is compared to me. However, um, if you ever see one, look at these tailpipes here. You can see just how big this thing is. Supercharged V8 engine, absolutely amazing. So that's the T-Rex. Let's go on and see what the vehicle that you actually can get, that we actually can get inside to give you guys in a perspective. And um, here's this is interesting. This is a Hemi E Torque. Um, this is a Ram 1500. I don't know if we can open the hood. The guy's got it closed. This is a 2022. It starts at 49. Ram is not saying how much their vehicles end at, but that's where they start at. I'm gonna show you this. Wow, huge back seat here. Plenty of room. That's that could be full down and make a bed right there, honestly. Let's see if these open here. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. These are the RAM box on the side here. And you can use this for like storage. You could also use this got a cover here for if you want to, you know, power up something from your house. There's also have a drain port here that actually if you want to use it for a cooler, there are drain ports on the sides. Let's go around to the back. Actually, you have also these kickstands that are hidden on the side. And so we can actually just pull this out just like that. That's where these would go. So that's there. I'm going to open up the back here. This is a spray bed liner and a soft cover. More RAM box on the other side of it here. Again, with the port, but no outlet. So there's only one outlet on one side. So maybe something you want to know. Some of these back seats here. This is absolutely gigantic. This is the backcountry edition. And you've got these are holders for your cell phone. So you slide your phone here and the cord goes in between and plugs into like right here if you need it to. Um, let me see if this opens. Yes, you've got people putting stuff there. You've also got some uh, storage in here with all your formulas for things. It's really good. The only thing it's missing is a sunroof. That's the only thing, but there's plenty of room. And I, again, I cannot express to you guys how big this back seat really is. Um, it's gigantic. Plenty of room. My brother has a 1500. I've driven his. They are very comfortable. All right, guys. The 2500 Ram Limited. A lot bigger than the 1500. However, the interior space on this one is actually less than that one. Might be because of how it's configured or the length of the bed, but it's actually it's a bigger engine for sure. But it's not as big inside. I'm going to show you what I mean. Not as big as the other one, but still adequate, I guess. To show you guys inside if you're interested in seeing what the interior on the front part very much like the 1500 as far as the interior on the front you just got a little bit different trim but you've got this trim here this wood paneling here and stitching here um not that much of a difference i think the 1500 that one had which is the big horn edition um understandably did have more a few more luxury 
features. But this is definitely your work truck of the two. This is the more work truck. Um, so it has the steering wheel, but this is like this wood, but this does not feel good. I should let you guys know, this does, it feels very much plastic. The leather down here feels great, but this does not feel, I don't know, a lot of people are, a lot of companies are doing that with, you know, alternating the, um, between leather, wood, Alcantara, but this doesn't feel good. <laughs> um, but other than that, this does have a moonroof though, which is cool. It's actually a quite small moonroof. I know the T-Rex um, has available panoramic moonroof, which is a lot bigger, but this one does not have that. It does have a Harman Kardon sound system, but that's, yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, guys, this is a 2021 2500 Power Wagon by Ram. This one does not have the automatic um, running board, so you're gonna have to jump up in this one. And, let's see inside. This one is a lot better equipped, a lot smaller. Now, this one does, unlike the last one we saw, have just a full leather steering wheel, which is great. It also has the option of the more uh, additional four-wheel drive modes, which the other one did not. Um, everything in the center here pretty much stays the same. Everything you need, what is this? Is that? That is not from, no. <laughs> That's not from this vehicle. I don't know what happened. There's a lot of kids around there. Kids probably took it. Anyways, uh, it also has the moonroof that we saw in the other one too. As far as backseat room, the same as the other 2500, not as much as the 1500. Um, we'll go back there, but it is better trimmed and the leather looks nicer, better stitching. Of course, this is the more expensive power wagon as you would expect let's hop down and go let's hop down and go in the back oh my. it's okay no need to hop back there's pretty much what we see what i do want to show you guys what's interesting is that the government requires an escape latch if a cargo capacity or storage area is a certain size to prevent babies or people from being um, locked inside this ram box which is on the side of the vehicle has one of the escape latches here so i guess ram decided that it didn't meet the u.s requirements it is too big so they had to install that um, to meet the u.s requirements it's on both sides just something interesting Again, this one has a spray bed liner and the soft ton of you cover. All right, guys, here's where we've got the 2021 3500 Limited starting at $66,000. Now, this is a 35. This is a limited model, so we should expect to see more luxury inside of it. But still, 3500, you've got a freaking massive engine inside there. What's up, boss? How you doing, man? You've got a freaking massive engine inside this thing. We're gonna walk you down around the side of it before we go inside. Now this has the uh, power uh, automatic running boards. Yeah, this vehicle is substantially higher. The 1500 is down here, the 25 is here, and the 35 is up here. This thing is really, really high. As you can see, this is the tailgate. It is nearly as tall as, or as high as my shoulders. I'm gonna open it up so you guys can see inside. It's a very wide truck indeed. Again, like for all the ones that we've seen, it does have a spray bed liner, which is good. And it echoes, echoes, echoes. That's a heavy gate. Is that automatic at all? No, it is not automatic. You gotta be a man to close this thing. I love it. All right, guys, we're still in the back of this 3500 Limited. I wanna show you something. There is a lot of space in the back seat. Um, again, I don't think it's as much as we had in the 1500. Incredibly, not as much. Um, it still has this fake wood plastic stuff on the middle of the cent on the center. This nice embroidery right here on the bottom. But I'm going to show you guys something here. If you flip the seat up, you can fold this down, and I believe this may fold out as a bed but I'm not sure, I just noticed it. So 
I'm gonna pump that back. All right, guys, we're here at the 2021 550 chassis cap limited. This starts at about 70, sorry, 78 and a half thousand dollars. This one is a massive engine as well, as you can see. The Ram Limited with this back part here for utilities. So if this is what you're in the market for, Dodge does have you covered. You've got several different storage compartments on the, on the side. You've got again a spray bed in the bot in the back here. That is a very nice, actually a better grade of spray bed than you uh, had in the other ones in the pickups. More locking storage containers here. Again, if you're going to tow something, you've got direct connections right on the back of it. Right, guys, even though the outside is pretty uh, utilitarian, the inside is actually quite luxurious. Again, I want to note there's no running boards here. Maybe you can option that, but there are none here. We're going to show you the inside here. This is a limited with the limited stitching on the side. Again, this one does, again, have this steering wheel that is plastic. It does not feel good at all. Again, you just have your limited four-wheel drive um, modes here. But again, the USB, USB-C, and I keep showing that, you guys, because that, you know, it's gonna matter whether you have a new iPhone or an old iPhone, if you have a new Android or old Android. Actually, I think Androids have always had USB-C, but, that's going to matter depending on what connection you need to bring. So you know, you know that your vehicle is able to have all the connections needed. This one has a wireless charger in addition to holding your phone here. I think the other ones were just holders. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool how you open up that. But yeah, it's you really can't tell the difference of this is going to be your work truck and your family truck. This is a pretty good combination right here. So um, yeah. That is quite a jump from there to there. Let's check out the back. Same thing you're gonna get that you got in the 2500, the 35, and the 55. Pretty much the same space as you got back here. But just a lot more welcoming with the lighter color headliner and seats. Nice details in the seats with stitching, top stitching, and cup holders in the center. All right, let's go to the next one. So if you really need to do some work, you've got one of their vans here, their work vans. This is a 2500 Pro Master. We're gonna get the official name here. 2021 Pro Master cargo van. Starting at $30,000, but of course, depending on how you option it, they can always go up because these things are very, very customizable. If you ever wonder where you put the gas, they're actually right here. That's where the gas cap is on this. That's actually pretty flimsy, but is painted colored. All right, here we go here. And you've got your step up here. This is your emergency brake. It's on the left side of the steering wheel. And that's it. Very commanding, easy view of the road. And there's some storage up here as well. You got these oversized sun visors and storage. I would let you, just let you know that this is very cheap feeling plastic, that's all. But this is a work vehicle, they're not gonna put too much work, they're not gonna put too much emphasis on quality and materials. But you should know that. This is like a notepad. You can uh, put your pens and things in there even though this does slope downward. So as soon as you hit the brakes, all that stuff is gonna be down there. This has an incredible loading area if you so need. And there is actually a lot of room inside of here. I can stand up. So whether you need to put shelves, refrigeration, or what, there's lots of room. Okay, right, let's go to the uh, ProMaster City Edition, which is much smaller version of kind of what we just saw but we're gonna go inside and check it out
So this sitting area is really low. You feel more of a car-like ride in this. Um, yeah, it's nice. Actually, the materials on this are actually a lot better than the um, 1500 or 2500 Pro, Pro Master. It's worth noting that just like the 2500, this also has um, a uh, area here. It's just as flimsy feeling, but it also has a storage area up here. You've got the uh, visors with no mirror, but there is a visor here. There's also a net here. If you don't yeah, know, there is a net up here. Um, so, useful. The passenger has a mirror. The driver does not have a mirror. I don't think it has a mirror. Yeah. Mirror, no light, but it does have a mirror. This one starts around 23, which is actually lower than I would thought. Guys, last one here. This is a 2022 1500 uh, limited 10th anniversary. It has this beautiful color. I don't know if it says it here. It does not say the color. I wish it would tell you more, but they start around $62,000. This is a eco diesel engine. We're gonna go inside before someone gets in. <laughs> We're gonna go right on here. Turn the volume music off. Okay, guys. So. Yeah, like all of the other ones, this is absolutely really nice inside. The 1500s are very nice. You've got the stitching up top of here. You've got the 10th anniversary uh, plaque here. Uh, depending on the trim level, they can continue to change this where you have the uh, back roads edition, I think it was called. Um, but they always, they always change this. Depending on what you have, it's gonna depend on what plaque is here. Other than that, things stay the same. You still have a holder here. This one has the optional wireless charging. We've got the full range of um, modes for um, da, 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 for four-wheel drive. Um, this is your selector. It's a knob selector for your drive selection. And then, of course, the USB underneath here. There's an additional storage underneath. Very nice stitching that's in here. That is continued over in the seat. So you've got leather, the cloth, leather, and then leather that's perforated. Let's go into the back. This is a very, very, very good looking truck. My brother has one. He absolutely loves it. It looks really good. So if you ever seen these on the road, want to know how it worked, you actually, there's a latch underneath that pulls the whole thing down. I'm going to pull it up again. And then we're going to latch, push down. That pulls this side. And there's a latch on this side that pulls it open. So either one, it works. And of course you have your controls for the or attachments for your trailer hit auxiliary lighting. And again, I can't get over the, I can't say this enough, the 1500, the back seats are huge, huge. Even more so than the 2500 and the 3500. I don't know why, but uh, huge back seat, huge back seat. Okay guys, that's everything Ram here at the 2021 Chicago Auto Show. Let me know which car you guys liked most. Me personally, I really liked the 1500. I thought it had the best um, balance of luxury, capability, but also size and utility. So I think it was amazing. This power wagon is pretty awesome as well. Good job, Ram, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.